So I've had an idea, but you're gonna have to follow my thought track a little bit on this one. So last night I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts called The Yog Pod, and in The Yog Pod there's one specific episode where they have this kind of fake interview uh, with a fictional version of Warwick Davis. Actually, he's here now. He's here oh. now. Hello, Warwick Davis. Welcome. Hello. Oh. During this interview, the fake Warwick Davis um, says that he's in a show called Little Man Town. Little Man Town? <laughs> Little Man Town. And this got me thinking uh, of The Borrowers. Very specifically, uh, the film that is behind me here called The Secret World of Arietti. I think that's the title. Now in this film, as you'll see behind me, there is a scene in which they ride down a river on a teapot. And I thought that was really cool. And this got me thinking, I want a character in my animated film, Big Mountain, to ride down a river on a teapot. I think that would be really great. And actually, I rewatched a film called Klaus recently, which is a really sweet Christmas film. And that film's all about a postman. Now, if whoever is riding this teapot in the film was to run a postal service, this would be perfect because the main character, Alvar, runs a bakery, and this would give him a way to ship his cakes and pastries further afield. In the previous episode of this series, where I drew the bakery that Alvar works at, you might remember that the cakes and pastries are already being carried in baskets on, on the water around to the front of the shop. And I did, in fact, draw a little sluice gate in that sort of water lavada that carries stuff round. And so what I thought is, Alvar could just open up the sluice gate and then the postman comes through, collects the cakes, goes back, close the sluice gate. It's, it kind of works. So now the only question that remains is who will be riding this teapot? And I'm glad you asked because I'm subscribed to a YouTube channel that is potentially the most adorable thing I've ever seen. It's run by two people who have two pet otters and they're just so cute. And I think an otter would be the perfect creature to be an aquatic postman because they can swim. Um, I mean, that's about it to be fair, but I think it works. So yes, everyone, today I will be drawing a, an otter teapot based postal service. So yes, join me as I do some terrible drawings. So because I had no idea where to start, and I'm not actually very good at drawing, I decided to first search up if anyone else had done any artwork on a similar vein to this. And I found this Instagram artist who did some really beautiful paintings of a frog riding on a teapot. I think this piece of art is, is really, really cool. And I kind of regret showing you this piece now, as in comparison, what I drew today, it isn't exactly of the highest quality. But anyway, because I wasn't feeling super confident going into this, I just thought to begin with, I would try to draw the same scene that's happening in this picture, but replace the frog with my postman otter. Who I think, by the way, I'm gonna call Wilfred. Uh, I think that's a good name for an otter. So yeah, I began by drawing Wilfred. It took me a while to get his structure correct, but after that I began dressing him in his postman's uniform. I'm still kind of undecided as to whether he should wear the full uniform with the coat and everything, or, or whether he should just have his postman's hat on. So just let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Just comment down below, coat or no coat. Then once all of that was done, it was time to draw the teapot. Which, looking back now, is kind of a bit too small, so if I was doing this again, I'd probably make it a bit bigger. I wanted to make the teapot a bit more viable as a, a post-delivering vehicle, because I guess my idea is that Wilfred stores all of the letters that he collects throughout the day inside of this teapot. And as a result, I added this postbox chute to the side, and also a, a little letterbox on the front of the spout. This letterbox will definitely have to close, as it's quite low down on the spout, and I guess otherwise all the water is just going to come rushing in. And then people are going to get soggy letters. And let's be honest, nobody's going to want to receive a, a soggy piece of post. You'll see as well, halfway through, I changed up Wilfred's face a bit, just made his eyes a bit more derpy, I feel like he wasn't quite quirky or caricatured enough, and I think this face suits him a bit better. Before starting colouring, you can see I also gave him a pipe, and just added some bubbles coming out of the teapot, as was happening in the reference art that I've based this off. When it came to colouring the teapot, I wasn't sure what to go with. I initially thought red, because that's the colour of post boxes, at least in the UK. But it was a bit too bright, really, uh, so I changed it up to being a golden teapot, which looks okay. Eventually, however, you'll see that this didn't stay either, as I changed it again to a, a pink colour, and then just put these weird cloud designs all over the top of it, just because I thought it was a bit plain. 
So that's the first piece finished. One thing I've really noticed during these drawing videos is that my shading and lighting isn't very good. So sometimes my pieces come out looking a bit flat. I don't know if other people have the same opinion, but that's just what I've noticed. Anyway, at the time I was happy enough with it, and I moved on to the second piece. For this one, I wanted to show Wilfred doing what he does best, and delivering some posts to someone. But the thing is, in the actual film, Big Mountain, I don't imagine Wilfred playing a very big role, to be honest. I think he's only really going to get a small cameo at the start where, where he comes to collect Alvar's pastries. But he's kind of a cute character, and I feel like he deserves more than that, you know? So it got me thinking, what, what if Wilfred had his own spin-off series? It could be called uh, Wilfred's Spiritual Teapot Postal Service or, or something. And it would just be him delivering a whole variety of different things to the spirits that live nearby. So each episode would just be a short 10 minute um, meeting with a different spirit. And they would all have little problems that Wilfred could help them solve. So one week it could be a rain spirit that's evaporating in the sun and Wilfred could deliver an umbrella for them, or another week it could be a flower spirit that's petals have blown away in the wind, so Wilfred would have to use his teapot to scoop them all out of the river. I don't know. It would be kind of funny and wholesome, no? Anyway, in terms of this piece, you can see the guy he's delivering to this time is a rock spirit. There are a few things that are different in this drawing compared to the previous one. To be honest, I prefer Wilfred without his jacket on, I think. But I did forget to give him his bag this time, which is a bit of a shame. So I would add that back in if I was doing this again. You can also see he's got an extra basket tied by a rope to the handle of his teapot. If he's going to be collecting a lot of pastries from Alvar, then they're not all going to fit inside of his teapot, are they? So I thought, considering the pastries will already be in baskets on the water, as we talked about last episode, it would just make more sense for Wilfred to tie them all up on the handle and sail with them floating behind him. So here we are. This is how the second finished drawing turned out. Let me know what you think. I think it's okay. The colours are a little bit off and the shading's not great, but there we are. I gave it my best go. So there we go everyone, I've done the drawings. I feel like this video was a bit random, slightly out of left field in terms of where the animated film series was going up until this point, but maybe it was a nice little detour, um, just drawing a sort of insignificant character. Oh my god, the sun is just blinding me. Here, wait a second. So yeah, if you want to have a go at drawing your own Otter Postman, your own Wilfred, then you can send me drawings on, on my Discord or... Uh, the reddit that no one uses. <laughs> All those links are in the description. I did start posting my artwork on my Instagram, but if I'm completely honest, I'm, I'm still very self-conscious about it, so I don't know how much I'll continue to do that because it's a bit stressful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. Not only do I appreciate it, but I appreciate you. <laughs> This has been Jude drawing an Otter Postman in a teapot, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.